Have you ever considered traveling alone but are fearful of it? Solo travel can be one of the most transformative experiences of our lives. And in this video, we'll explore how solo travel can help us in the terms of growth and self-development. I'm going to break down this video in exactly three parts. What stops us from solo travel? Our fears. Number two, why do we need to travel alone? And number three, how can solo travel help us in terms of growth, change and self-development? So let's jump into it with number one. What stops us from doing it? Your fear of being alone, which is justified. We all have this fear. The only thing that matters is how can we overcome this? As kids, we have been told by our society, our parents, people around us to be with other people, being in a group or with family. And we get attached to this belief. There is this mentality that in order to enjoy ourselves and be happy, we need other people. This becomes so drastic that some people stay in bad relationships just in order to stay with someone else. Well, this is the problem. We need to feel happy and at peace with ourselves. And then anything else, any other person is just a topping on it. And the easiest way to overcome all this is by traveling alone. You can meditate for thousands of hours and you might get there. But the easiest way I can guarantee you to overcome the fear of being alone is by traveling alone. You can start by traveling around the place you live right now, maybe three to four hours away and stay there for a night or two and see how comfortable do you feel. And then you can add on it. You can go further away, maybe to a new country. My first major solo travel experience was going to Iceland and that was very tough because I lost my bag, fell into a glacier, my car got stuck and I was by myself and that was hard. But that is what is amazing. It teaches us that there are so many things that come into our life, difficulties, failures, problems, but we move along with it. It's just part of life and we move through it. And that's what travel teaches us that no matter what, we are moving forward. And not getting stuck on those problems. Solo travel allows you to experience new things without the influence of other people and step out of your comfort zone. You will be forced to make new decisions every day, push your boundaries and you will learn more about yourself than you have ever thought about it. Traveling alone also helps us to create new connections, some beautiful connections, even for introverts like me. When I'm back home, I'm rarely talking to anyone new. And this might be true for you too, but I'm, when I'm traveling alone, I'm seeking new connections. I'm talk, trying to talk to more people. I'm trying to talk to people on trail or when I see them in hostel or hotels or uh, in trains or flights. And finally, solo travel can give you the sense of independence and self-reliance that you have been looking for. And you can bring that feeling back home with you. And you can use that in different forms of your life in, in terms of growth and self-development. Like if you want to grow in certain thing or you want to stick to a habit or you have to solve any problem, you see how you did it while you were traveling when the odds were against you, but you still did it when you were in a new country and you want to figure this out, you did it. So you bring that confidence back home and that helps you so much in other parts of your life. I know. Traveling alone can be very daunting, but once you do it, you realize that you are capable of so much more than you have ever thought about. And that sense of accomplishment and empowerment is that something you'll keep with you always in your lives and cherish it forever. So if you're someone who have been wanting to travel alone, go for it. Take that leap of faith and I can guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. And this might be the most beautiful experience of your goddamn lives.